What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Mario Golf in the Game Boy Color. This is actually the last video of the play that we're going to play on the Game Boy Color cartridge, but we've been a long way. In the last part, we faced Mario in match game and did not have as hard a time as I thought we were going to have. And this part, we're going to face Wario in match rate. He has 250 yards and a fade, so not much different than Tiny, let's just say. We should, however, have an easier time. Much like facing Tiny, we're going to play Wario on the Dunes course. It plays a uh, it plays the same music as the credits, so um, yeah, much like we're gonna have a lot easier time facing Wario than facing Tiny because we have a distance advantage. We have more, we also gain more distance the last part, so who knows? Maybe we can make a uh, a green and one. And also, Wario's got even worse impact and control than Tiny does. So if you if he can hit it in the rough, you're gonna have an advantage. Like, let's just say, like he did now. So. I already said this when we played Mario Golf 64, but uh, Wario's not really the best of characters to use. Like, he ha he has a very significant fade, and on top of that, he has really bad impact and control. So, I would not personally recommend using him. So, uh, that should go on the green. Maybe a little undershooting it. All right, what's he gonna do? He's probably gonna chip that. All right. And Wario, why does Wario dance like a ballerina when he gets a birdie? I don't know, but um, I it should it should go like uh this. Ah oh, fuck! We just lost the first hole. So we 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 don't win a we Mario doesn't win a hole, but Wario does. So uh, we should, however, have an easier time against Wario than we get against Tiny because we do have a distance advantage, a massive distance advantage at that. Yeah, this should be good. So we hit it 269 yards, so it really shows how our character has gone a long way. Yeah, it's an easy hit on the bur- That's an easy uh, second shot right there. He's gonna, on the other hand, he's probably gonna overshoot that one. Uh, not really, he can really, he can make that putt. So, um, yeah, let's just, uh, kind of, come on, make, that's a little, we have a tougher putt, I'd say, than Wario does. So let's make it like this. We still made it, thank God. Come on, miss, miss. Ah, oh, I thought that was gonna miss. All right, he's gonna try. He's gonna hit that in the rough, probably. Come on, if it goes in the rough, we'll have a great. It's gonna go in the rough. So we should um. We should maybe hit it like, oh wait, no. It's not the best of ideas. I have a different idea though. It turns out it was the right idea. Sometimes like ideas like this can just pay off. We have an easy second shot right there. He's not gonna make that green in two, so. Sometimes high risk, high reward can just pay off in Mario Golf if you're a veteran player. All right, so it's gonna, um... All right, this should go the green, this should go on the green. We could have albatross that, but uh, we, we can't really. An albatross is really, really hard to get, let's just say. Like, only a few... I've been playing Mario Golf for, like, over 20 years now, and, like, uh... And, like, oh, and only a few times in my entire life have I ever gotten an albatross. I think only a couple times, like, maybe one or two times. And they were both in advanced tour, I believe. So we have it. We can still birdie and win that hole, so... All right, so, all right, let's see what we can do from here. I'd say we just keep it like this.
Uh, we have a little bit of a putt to make, so... Yeah, he's gonna try something similar. Maybe he'll hit it too much to the left, though. He doesn't have the hardest a putt. I'd say we have a harder putt than he does. That he still misses anyway. <laughs> oh, Wario, what could we do without you? I almost thought I was gonna miss that for a second, but uh, that's let's just keep it like this. Not with the bad accuracy though. Uh, we're gonna go in the fucking waste area, or just the rough. That's the problem with the distance club is that if you don't have good accuracy, you're just not gonna have even if, even if you have good impact and control. If you have bad accuracy, you're just not gonna make that distance. But I'd still really recommend getting the distance club, though. If you get the control club, it lowers your distance, so, um... But it gives you better impact, but you should just be leveling up impact and control as it is. That's the way I play this game, at least. Let's go, um... Yeah, for some reason, my instincts told me to use a higher club. We still don't even make that green. We could still chip this, though. Let's use a pitching wedge. We overshot that. So, yeah, we're gonna have to take the L, unfortunately. Or maybe not, because he's gonna miss that putt. So, we're not taking the L after all. Yeah, we're taking the L. How did he even take that hole? But, uh... I, again, I didn't expect... We're not gonna... I don't think we're gonna go full 18 like we did against Tiny, so, uh... Because the Tiny match was just flat-out ridiculous, but, uh... Who knows? Wario, uh... Wario was a pain in the ass when we faced through Mario Golf 64, so... Okay, that's gonna go out of bounds. My instincts tell me it's gonna... My instincts were right, so unfortunately, yeah, you know what's coming. So yeah, we have to use the save trick. It's interesting, because I've never recently been playing Mario Golf World Tour because I'm not as familiar with that game. And uh, yeah, it turns out they got rid of the save trick in that game. I am aware that in the newer Mario Golf games, they they kind of got rid of the save trick because I've. Even though the game designers intended it to probably be a save and play, pick up later, I think they probably did realize you could find a loophole with it in the older games. Because I've known this loophole since I was like a kid. Because <laughs> like, anytime a hole doesn't go your way, just save and quit it and just do that. I don't really think it's cheating if it's an, if it's kind of a mechanic in the game, though, you can kind of use, so, um... I kind of consider cheating to be more game-breaking glitches. Like the backwards long jump in Mario 64, like kind of that stuff. That stuff the game designers don't intend you to do. And we won the hole, so yeah, good job on the save trick. I can't believe this is actually this is actually the last recording session I'll do of Mark of the Game because the the next video is gonna be the last part where we just showcase the uh we just showcase the uh, what am I trying to say the transfer pack stuff which uh after I record this video I'm gonna have to go out and get my transfer pack from my drawers and because the only thing with the transfer pack that was kind of a pain to hook up but uh that'll probably be the last part and probably a shorter part also I'll just do like the Toad tournament as our character and. We'll just call it that. So, uh, let's see. We're gonna use, uh, let's try, um, like this. Yeah, that's an easy birdie. 
Wario has been kind of hit or miss on the putting, let's just say. I, again, why is he dancing around like a ballerina when he gets a birdie? All right, so, all right, par three. Uh, this, this whole, uh, I remember being a, uh, this hole should be easier because we have a distance advantage, but um, this hole was a pain in the ass when we, when we were first in the Dunes Club. We still hit in the bunker, or the semi-rough. He's gonna try to go all in. Yeah, he's gonna hit that on the green. He's not fucking around, let's just say. He's gonna overshoot that, so um, he's not, let's, we're not gonna say he's on the green either. Let's try, uh... Oh, no. Nice try, but he's probably gonna chip that. He doesn't chip that either, so I guess we can just take the tie. Alright, there we go, we'll just take the tie. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of tying recently. We he's won two holes and we've won three, so. So I guess we're having a harder time against Wario than we do with Mario, but um I don't think uh I'm just gonna play it more safe like this. Cause that way it can upper the odds we get it on the green in two. He's probably gonna try the same thing also. Or maybe not, actually. If he hits in the rough, that'll be great. He might, he might hit that in the rough. Might hit that in the rough, hit that in the rough. Oh yeah, he hit that in the rough. Much like Tiny, as long as you hits it in the rough, come on, hit in the water. Okay, he's not gonna hit that in the water. I'd say Wario's AI is probably smarter than Tiny's AI was, but uh... All right, that's in. That's uh, not a bad putt. Nice shot, and uh, he's gonna overshoot that. So, yeah, he's probably not gonna make that putt. So who knows? Wario should not be underestimated. He didn't make the putt. All right, we have two chances to make this. Oh yeah. So yeah, we just gotta wait it out. Or keep winning holes. But uh, I probably should not hit it in that area. It doesn't matter, cause I'm probably gonna hit it in the rough. Or the bunker. The bunker's worse than the rough though. Mine, as long as all right, he had in the roughs, so that's fine. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a shot that's essentially high risk, high reward. It was a decent attempt, though. But yeah, he's got that green in two, so if as long as he keeps going downhill, he might have a hard time getting a birdie. So um But we we chipped it in, so miss and lose. Good thing I chipped that, so uh I don't know how I still recover from that one, but uh Okay, we're gonna um I was gonna use a lower club, but I don't wanna really chance that with it going uphill, so. Maybe I overshot that one a little bit, but uh he's gonna He's gonna overshoot that one, let's just say. He definitely he's not even gonna get that one on the green. So as long as he doesn't chip that, we should be fine. 
I have noticed, however, when it's seven yards, even though he didn't chip it, they, it is easier for them to chip it. So it's easier in general to chip a seven yard uh, drive, but um, all right, three more win, three more wins, or uh, three more wins, and we got this. I have not been good. I have not been on a hot streak with power shots the last several parts, though. But uh. And not because we still uh we got a nice actually we're hit we're behind a cactus but i have a plan at least let's see he's gonna make that uh maybe um he's gonna make that green in two and uh Okay, he's got a tough putt, so as long as we're closer to the hole, we, sh we should have this. Alright, so I have a different idea than my original plan. My original plan was... Alright. Let's go, let's uh, put a fade in this and see where it goes. Yeah, we're unfortunately... He has to miss that putt, let's just say. Yeah, he has to miss that. Which, my instincts tell me he's not going to miss that. But he does. Oh, yeah. As long as you have a nice recovery, you should be able to pull this off. But, uh... It just we're, just go through the practice games because it, it basically or be fast basically the general thing of how to play Mario. I don't want to be that obvious, but just I don't know. Read the tutorials and you'll probably do better. If only. Never mind. Anyway, so he's gonna hit that in the bunker. He's gonna hit that in the bunker. He's gonna hit in the rough. So he's not going to make that green in two. Alright, so, um... Uh, let's try this. We're running out of power shots, though, so we have- this has to work. We overshot it, but I had the right idea. If he, um, he doesn't even make the green. Oh, 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 yes! Oh, yeah. One more hole and we win this. And it's an easy hole right here. We just need to get a good shot. All right. No, we fucked up the accuracy at the worst possible time. Don't go on, don't go out of bounds. Stay in bounds, stay in bounds, stay in bounds. I'll take A in the rough as long as it stays in bounds, which is, it does. He's probably gonna hit that in the rough too, so it's not a total loss for us. He also hit it in the rough. Yay! He has a harder he has a hard shot right there. And he's not gonna make that green. So we've essentially won this. Well, we shouldn't call it early, but uh, um, let's try an eight iron. Yeah, my instinct would have told me a seven iron would have overshot that, which it would have. So as long as he doesn't chip that, we want we win this because we have an easy putt. Oh yeah, that was Wario. So we've won. Uh, we're essentially four. We're five up. So uh, yeah, that is the last of the match game. We get a. We get a. 
We get more experience for beating Warrior than we do for beating Mario. We get to we get level up, so uh finally draw. So yeah, that's our final stats. And also when you beat Wario in match play, you unlock Wario. So uh Yeah, so I think I'm gonna cut it off in this part of Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. So next time on Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color, we're gonna do the transfer pack stuff. See you guys then.